Hey everybody, what's up? It's Sam I am here with you to do another project. I have a tray. I like this tray. I'm gonna make a bowl out of it. Yep, a free form bowl with this tray. I will put it in there once it's ready to be manipulated. I will put it on top of a vase and then it'll fall into place. I've started out with gold and I'm gonna add some stuff to it. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna make a bowl. But this isn't any type of bowl. This is gonna be for a toilet bowl. Hi, how you like me now? I have got it dusted in gold. I did one half, so now I'm gonna do the other half. But I just had to show y'all, I'm making a toilet bowl seat. Toilet bowl seat, right? It's not a cover. Well, technically, yeah, it's the seat. It's not a cover. A cover is like one of those things that you put on it. I don't think that. Do they still do them? Like back in the day when you had, what was it, carpet on there or something? I don't know. This one is going to be good enough for the fanciest, smanciest person in the world to sit on because it is a toilet bowl seat made of gold. Let's get started. Let's get this pouring party started. All right, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna sprinkle some of this wonderful, the best 14 karat nugget gold from eye candy. Absolutely love my eye candy and I absolutely love this gold. And you need to get some. If you use gold a lot, this is the gold you need. I mean, look at it. Look at that. Have you ever in a powder no, I have it. And I highly recommend that you get some. And guess what? I just so happen to have a link down in my description with a coupon code. So really, there's no reason why you don't go get yourself some. And then you can get your very own toilet seat. And you too could put your bum on a gold cover toilet seat. Wouldn't that be cool? Yep, yep, yep. Very cool. I think my bum's worthy enough. Oh, what is that? I knew there was something funky in there. What in the world is that? I don't know. It's gone now. Yeah, I saw this before and I had to wait to order it, you know, until the funds were available. And I remembered it uh, day before yesterday, and it was available for one day delivery from Amazon. I mean, there was a couple of them that sold it, but this one, believe it or not, was the cheapest one and was getting here the soonest. So I was like, well, dang, that's waiting for me. Samazon's purchase. Sam's purchase on Samazon. She got a toilet bowl seat cover. No, toilet bowl seat. That's what she got, and she's making it go. Making it go. Great. Somebody just opened the door. Now I know what they wanted. To return the Chihuahua. She doesn't know what she wants. She's over here. She's heard me talking about her, so she's coming over here wagging her tail like, let's go to bed, Mom. It's now nighttime. She's looking at me like, yes, it is. Go get in your bed, Gracie. That's my 13-year-old Chihuahua. She's been having some problems. We were at the vet today with her. She just can't get enough to drink, and she's hacky-sacky, you know, coughing. And then because she can't get enough to drink, she's peeing. It's a vicious cycle. So we took her to the vet a couple weeks ago. They put her on an antibiotic. That was no different. Okay, I'm done with that. And uh, so today we took her back and they did blood work. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, I have a lot of powder left over. And see what I was thinking, you know, normally we just dust it and then we pour clear. But I'm kind of worried and because I'm using so much resin, why not? Oh, I think I just missed the whole cup. I did. Oh, shucks. Anyway, I'm just not gonna use just clear. I'm gonna add some gold to my resin. 
you know, just in case I've missed any spots. I mean, we don't want to have fast come toilet seat lid. Oh, I cracked myself up. A toilet seat. We don't want it half butt. We want a full butt job on the toilet seat. So let's go ahead. I've already mixed up my resin. I've got 30 ounces of clear cast 7000 from the epoxy resin store. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to put some of this in there. Then I will add some of the resin in here. Can you see me? I was really, I have like projects all over the garage. I have one, two, three, four different projects going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know why. I guess because I'm bored. I'm trying to keep myself busy. Y'all know what happens the 2nd of May. Yeah, if you don't know, my son goes to boot camp. My one and only child. My nest is going to be empty. Not to mention, it's boot camp. For the Coast Guard, though, I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah, I am. He's a good dude. And I'm not just saying that because he's my kid. Teachers have always told me that growing up. Makes me proud to know that he's doing what he's supposed to do when he's not around. You know, for a long time, it was just he and I. And, uh, yeah, that's enough of that. All right, I just poured this. Can you see that? Yep, yeah, you can see that. I just poured it. I mixed all of that mica in a little bit of resin, made a paste. And now I've put the mixed resin in this whole 30 ounces of re resin. And I'm going to mix that up. And it's just easier to mix it this way. See that? It's like a dream. Just mixes right on up. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm putting in a gold. That's it. No, I'm just playing. I am going to put... Hold on, let me finish doing this. Oh, I think I want more in there. So let's do some more. Yep, yep, yep. I want more. So again, I'll put some more in here. In my little cuppy poo. Then I will add some of my resin. Yes, it's already colored, but that's okay. We're going to pour some more in here. So we can add it back into the full cup of resin. Oh, I don't want to get that on my little spoon brush. Okay. We're mixing this up. I think it would help if I moved the trash can from underneath my feet. That might be a big plus. It hurts my back standing up like this. I like it better when we're in my seat, but that's occupied with a project right now. Okay, got that mixed up. Add that in. Man, that's beautiful stuff. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. All right, let's see what we got this time. Should be good. It wasn't too far off. And I mean, it is dusted. I'm not needing to make it all gold with just this. Oh, I keep leaning on this board. So did I surprise y'all? Did you think I was really doing a tray with a, a bowl with that new tray? Or did you know I meant toilet bowl? I bet you didn't. You think you did. You didn't. All right, that's great. Okay, I've already checked. It's level. Oh, let me show you what we're going to do after I do this. I got a little bit spilt right here. Let me get that. All right. Let me show you. My wipes are in here, y'all. And my alcohol. Okay. 
Told you I'm spread across the art room. Formerly known as the garage. Okay, I got a bunch of, well, these. Aren't they pretty? So I thought on the lid, I'm gonna do like this on the inside because I don't know about y'all, but how often does your lid stay down? Uh, we try, we, we try to put an honest effort into it, but normally it's up. So that's why I'm thinking the butterflies will be pretty on the inside of the toilet lid. And then I was kind of thinking for the, the tushy part, I have these butterflies. I have these, and I have the, oh, shucks. Move back over there. And I have these butterflies. So I could like put, um, oh, and I got little ones. Maybe just the little ones. Put them flying through on the, on the toilet seat. You have butterflies on your tushy. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't know, we'll see what we got once I get this cured. Let's go with it, guys. Let's go with it. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I have gone through my head with it several times to make sure I'm pouring it the right way. But if it doesn't work out, at least you got a gold toilet seat. Okay. A lot of resin. Here we go. Light resin. I was kind of thinking I was going to need more than one um, layer. But um, that doesn't look like it. And you know what? I think this is the bottom. This is going to be the bottom. So that just screwed me up with the butterflies. It might just be a gold toilet seat after all, y'all. Well, I could always put the butterflies on this side, on this one, right? Yeah, I can't. So I'll leave a little bit of room in this to put a clear coat. On this, we will just fill up. It's so pretty. Do y'all think it's funny or y'all think it's a good idea or I just wanted it because it was different. I see the same molds that I have, which is, I mean, it's inevitable. It's a small market. And I just wanted something different. I haven't seen anybody advertise their toilet seat on TV, on YouTube. So I did. I have no fear, Sam is here with the toilet bowl cover seat. How come I can't say that? Toilet bowl seat. That's full. That's full. I might have a smidge. Smidge of room. This one's full. We just need to pop some bubbles, y'all. Move that out of the way. I need a wipe. There we go. And they look pretty. I mean, if a toilet seat can look pretty, I think it does. I like the gold. I just like the symbolism. Quickly and efficiently so you don't burn your mold. This one is an expensive one too. I certainly don't want to burn it. We'd like to make more than one. Well, I hope that this one turns out. Okay, now what I am going to do... Oh, it's still burning. Got to be careful with that. I am going to take a skewer and gently go over, because remember, it's dusted. So I'm just going to gently go around, dislodging any bubbles that might have decided to take up shot bun next to the mold. But again, very easily, gentle. Okay, 
Don't want to scratch up your stuff. If at all possible. Okay, that one's done. Yeah, we'll have plenty of room to do a clear coat on this, which is perfect for our butterflies. And then uh, we'll just leave the bottom the way it is. Okay. Yeah, I like how we filled this, we did instead of clear with the dusted mold, I'm glad we filled it with gold instead because if there's any spots missed, that's gonna look terrible and you have all that resin and it'll look crappy. <laughs> that was a pun, not intended. So that's what we got, guys. I am gonna go none night and I'll be back in the morning and it'll be cured but you'll never know because you are nice and comfy and all you need to do is blink an eye and i'll be back and i'm going to come check on this after i leave you about every 20 minutes or so until it's cured up to pop bubbles we don't want no bubbles right right just keep coming and checking on it. you never just want to walk away from your project you want to check it. I did that the other day. I had something on the resin curing plate. It was it was my collaboration with Miss Wanda from Wanda's Blessed Creations. And um, it leaked. The tray leaked all over my resin curing plate. Made a mess. And it messed up my collaboration piece. I was not happy. If y'all saw it, you know I wasn't. But I came back and redid it. I redeemed myself. Quitters never win, right? Okie doke. I will see y'all in a blink of an eye, my friends. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I am awake and freshly slept, freshly refreshed. What's the word I'm looking for? Revived. I'm feeling good, good, good. I'm feeling good, good, good. I don't know about good, 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 but I'm feeling all right. Excited to be here with you, my friends. I am ready to finish our bowl. Our toilet bowl cover, that is. I did sound, sound like country right then, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so let me get back to my silly self. I have let this cure. It's cured overnight. It is really ready to roll. What I did is I took some E6000 and went around and put just a tad on the back of each of the butterflies so I don't have to worry about them floating away. Because you know butterflies like to float. Float away. So I have mixed up 20 more ounces. No. What does that say? 22 more ounces of resin, which is probably way too much. And I just put more on the resin curing plate to heat that up. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have resin coming out the yin-yang. So let's go ahead and pour this. So in case I need to put it in something else, I can do it. I need to get my little makeup tool. I'll just let that do its thing. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. All right. Well, let me take this out. How about that? Let's do that real quick. I just foresee that causing problems. How's this doing back here? Y'all keep an eye on it. I would like this to have zero problems. Nobody likes problems with the bathroom. Hmm? So I was kind of looking at the mechanisms, how you put this together. I mean, I think I could pretty much figure it out and handle it with the Dremel. But I was wondering, should I just include it if somebody buys it, you know, so they can do it to their own toilet? I don't know. Maybe I'll leave that, uh, I won't do it, and I'll leave that in my comments for y'all to tell me what you think. But then again, it's a good learning experience to break out the Dremel and learn how to do this together, right? Just getting this all the way up. 
it appears we have a good amount in there. And over here, looks like I need just a little bit more. And I would like to say that I think I measured this pretty daggone good. I eyeballed it. Yes, sir, Bob, I sure did. Because I have two ounces left. I was only going to do 20. Oh, no, I got four ounces left. So let's just put a little bit more in here. All right, I'm going to get down and look. Look across the seat. Yep, we can use some more. So I'm going to use it all. Which is a good thing. And it's low over here. I need to make sure it's not flowing this way, though, you know? I mean, it's level. Well, it was the last time I checked. There we go. That's good. Oh, man. I got butterflies poking up. Now, that's not going to be good. Oh, I have to keep coming back and pushing them down. Isn't that lovely? I gotta get the air out of it, too. I don't want to mess up my gold toilet seat with staggling bubbles. This one over here looks good. I think. Let me get down. Yeah, this one looks good. This one's got a couple places popping up. Maybe I need more resin there. Uh oh, that is really doming. Yeah, I'm just going to come around and keep popping bubbles, y'all. I really didn't think that went out very good, did I? That's okay. I'm going to be out here working anyway. I will just keep checking on it. All right, this is pretty much done. I'm not gonna pour another drop in there because it's dooming. I'll find something to do with it. Right now, I wanna find my, where's my fire tool? <laughs> quickly and efficiently, guys. We're in the home stretch. You want nothing to happen. Especially since this mold is not cheap. I mean, most molds, well, I mean, we do got cheap molds out there, but not the big ones. Y'all know. All right. So now we just have to say a prayer. It is out of our control. It's going to be okay. I like it. I like it. Okay. So I'll be back. Later this evening, going to see John Wick 4. Excited to see that with my son and my ex-husband and his wife. I know that sounds crazy, but we're really good friends. Probably TMI that I told y'all, but you know what? There's no secret amongst friends. I mean, there are some secrets. All right, my friends, I'll be back. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good half a second, I'm back for you, hey, I'm back, guess who's back, back again, tell a friend, guess who's back, guess who's back, guess who's back, me, I'm back, hey, alright, I'm back with the bowl that's not actually a bowl, that's for a bowl, a toilet bowl, that is, it's all cured. Look. The butterflies look beautiful. Look. Can't you see yourself sitting on that? I sure Lord can. Yep. And I go to wipe. I see a little butterfly. I'm sorry, y'all. That's probably a little TMI. Oh, I had to say it. All right, let's get her out. Let's take it out. Uh-oh, I see a spot. A little overflow right there. That's the only part I'm doing pretty good. Uh oh, y'all. I'm in trouble. This is the top. 
that's going to be where the butterflies are and they're upside down. Well, I guess you just sit on that way, right? I'll just dome it. That's what I'll do. I'm going to dome it. I'm going to have a hard time at it, but I'm going to dome it. All right, let's take this one out. I think this is the same way, y'all. No, this would be like that. So this is the way it's open. Which I don't know about y'all, but in my house it's up a lot. Unless my mom comes by and she puts it down. I got tired of putting it down, so I just leave it up. And with butterflies on it, it'll be beautiful. This came out pretty good. Since I dusted it and I poured it down in there. This, see I got that little smidge right there? Oh, right. Can you see it? Y'all don't look at my nails. I've been doing God knows what. See that? Let me show you. First things first. Y'all know I'm not at my desk, so. First things first. Put on some goggles. Then, you take these little Dumaflatchies. You use them for a pedicure. To get your cuticles. You want to take this and you're going to go up as close as you can. And you're going to do all you put all your power into it. Mm. Oh, it's not going to cut. I'm going to have to sand it, y'all. Ow. I broke a pair already doing this. Yeah, it's not coming. There's a little teeny piece. I don't want to dump it up. It's trying to. Look at that. Let me try again. Look. Here. There. Fixed it. Just a little groove with the same uh, fingernail file. And that'll be all better. So, now what I was thinking... Oh, I got another one down here. And we're going to have to do this. Oh, I got that piece on. I think so, because this has got a lip. And that's not going to feel comfortable on the bum. So, I'm going to mix up some more resin. We are not quite done with the toilet seat, hon. I'm going to go through and I'm going to put another coat on there. And it's going to be a, a yacht. But it's okay. I'm going to rub latex around the bottom. And we're going to dome this sucker. I'll be back. Hi. I have our toilet seat ready. I have gone on the back. I'm not going to flip it back over. Y'all can... Y'all know what I mean. I have this liquid latex. I have poured it all the way around the back. Not missing a spot. All the way around the sides. Not missing a spot. Taking my time. Double checking it. Triple checking it. Then whatever got on this side, I wiped it. So she should be ready. That's now or never. I don't know why I'm so nervous about a toilet seat, but I am. I'm very nervous. I guess because it's so much resin. And I got half of it right. I need the other half right. I want to be able to comfortably rest when need be on this thing. I'm going to put you on fast forward. Okay? Now all we have to do is let it cure. Put a nice coat on there that should dome it to make the bum heavy. And I don't mean like the, the bum bum. I mean your your honey, your honey bum. Okay. So let's just hope that it cures nicely. Let's hope it cures as good as it looks here anyway. bowl, toilet bowl cover that is, seat. 
I started picking off the latex and the pieces of resin that were left or that rolled off, but because we protected it with the latex, we shouldn't have any problems. Shouldn't. Now we might have a piece here or there, but I'm praying that I did this well enough that we don't have any problems. Y'all just hang with me. Mm -mm, I'm wait this one right here. Come on, baby. Come on. Man, I'm getting excited. I'm getting so excited. I'm excited. What, like a dream? Mm -mm. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh. But I resin is sharp sometimes. I did that earlier. Just let me finish getting this little bit of latex off. I'm going to have to do a little sanding. It's a little rough. Now, I still need to... Would y'all sit on that? <laughs> yeah, I just need to do a little sanding right here. It's not bad. But you don't want not bad. <laughs> You want good. You want comfortable. Ow. Sharp sometimes. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Alright, um. Uh, I guess I need to go another coat. Do I? I mean, it, it, it is domed. Can you see that? I wish y'all could tell me. I think this is it, y'all. Alright, now I've made an executive decision on putting these pieces on, the, the fastener. I don't believe that I can do it without messing up. So I feel like the owner of this has a better chance of doing it or getting somebody to do it for them. What's up with that? I see scratches. Uh -uh. Yeah, what's up with that? That must be, oh, I need to use the alcohol. Yeah, I see pieces of where the latex was. I hope that's what the heck that is. I'm going to be ticked off if not. Okay, yeah, so see, we have, sorry, y'all, I'm just, like, checking that out. I have these pieces, and I know that it's going to go, no, I don't know. I'm thinking that it goes, this part would go on the toilet, like this. This piece would go in here, like this, and then this piece would go... Here. Oh, wait a minute. Like, here. See what I'm saying? Just like so. But guess what? It's got to be perfect, or you're going to have holes that look funny or terrible or just not even usable. And I don't want to do that. Oh, can y'all see what I'm doing? Shucks. Okay, see? This would go down in the toilet, like this, like so. This piece goes like this, and then this piece is back, and this piece goes like this. See? Just like so. You can see that, right? So when you do both sides, 
obviously, but just to clarify, there are two of them for each side. So we've got four screws, and you got these long pieces. This is what screws the other part down into the commode. And this is the nut to uh, fasten it. And these, I think, might go on the top and the bottom of that nut, I believe. I don't know. Again, that's not really something I know much about. But I'm making a good educated guess at it, I think. So what my idea was, is I will do this. I have this cute little cellophane bag that I will put these little beauties in. Then I have this beautiful gold ribbon. And I'm going to do like this and put a bow on it. Yes, I am. Well, maybe a knot. Let's see if I can get a bow. I don't know why I cut it so short. Jeez. I think I'm hoarding it or something. Well, I'll do a better one. But there's, you get the drift. And there you go. Voila! There's the toilet commode seat for you to look and see how beautiful and sit and do your thing. Okay? That's what it is. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, would you give me a thumbs up? I'd really appreciate it. And while they're there, maybe you consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it sure helps my channel. If everybody who viewed my channel would subscribe, it would certainly help me that much more. Um, to take care of some business, I am doing a contest. Three contests, let me explain. The first one, you just have to like, subscribe, send me a comment letting me know that you did so, and I will send you a number. That number will then go into the pool. And I'm going to have the number generator choose a winner. Generate a number for the winner. But remember, you have to send me a comment to let me know you did. That's the three things you got to do to get the number. And the winner will get this Just Resin Ocean Pigment Pack Paste. And it's got these six different colors to make ocean scenes. Second contest is with my honorary color program on my channel if you make a paypal donation you get your honorary a color with your name honorary color with your name on my channel if you get an honorary color you tell me what color family you like such as i like pink so i'll find a pink that i think would be perfect for you then you also get an entry into the joy box yep you get an entry into the joy box. Then if I use your color again after the initial entry, then you'll get another entry in. Once I get 15 entries in here, I'm going to do a drawing. That drawing is for this clock, this terrace clock. It comes with two molds to do it and the mechanism as well as the hands. Third contest is the amazing acorn. Here we got it. It's a little early in the morning. I was kind of forgetting what I was doing. This is the Corny Amazing Acorn. To get into the Amazing Acorn, there's a few things that you could do. First, you could use the affiliate link for one of the businesses that I have down in the description. These companies offer amazing products and you see me use them a lot. I truly love all of my affiliate links. And there's also a coupon code there for you. Check them out. That's supporting the channel. But also, please let me know that you did that so I can reference it and get you into the Amazing Acorn. Uh, another way you can do it is by buying me a sweet tea. Just use my PayPal link. That would be awesome. I'm trying to think how you can get in this tag one contest. It is too early. Um, Amazon wish list. That is another way that you can help support the channel. 
That really, really helps the channel a lot. Another way is if you have some of your uh, craft supplies that you've purchased and just aren't going to use them or want to get them out of the way, you want to see me do something with them, send them on. Just give me a little email asking me for my address and then you can send them on. And uh, I'll do something beautiful with them. And definitely that'll get you into the Maze and Acorn. So that's three contests, four different ways to get into the Maze and Acorn. An amazing way to get your own color on here. Just think if I do a project or you want to do a project and you're like, man, I want to use my own color that I have on Sam's channel. How cool. Yep, I have some people that I believe like their new colors. I don't think on this uh, this video I have anybody to add. Can you hold just a moment? Let me see if I have anybody to put in here. I've been just hang on just a second. Okay, guess what? I do have one angel, but I didn't use any of her uh, or her gift on here. So I'm going to do that in two videos because I already have two back to back. And I got something special today. Just so you know, you know who you are. Well, you should know who you are. And I thank you. And I want to give you your video using your, your amazing gift. Okay, so I've gone over everything that I have to talk about. Just please consider liking and subscribing. It really, really helps me out. I know I said it once. I'll say it twice. I'll say it three times. Come on, baby. Hit those buttons. Give them to me. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Mean it. See ya. Bye.